it's not your typical day at the beach. Driving across the island, there's no sign of tourists, but there are plenty of visitors. All kinds of military vehicles. We've seen Humvees, we've seen earth movers, we've seen backhoes, things you wouldn't normally expect here on Dauphin Island, especially this time of year. This fortress of dunes erected by the Alabama National Guard. And on the coast, another weapon in their arsenal, this specially designed barrier to save the island from ecological disaster. So is it like a giant strainer, so to speak? Uh, actually, it's the world's largest oil water separator, or perhaps the world's longest oil water separator. Dan Koontz's battle it? strategy Four depends on months. this white powder, which could literally turn the tide in this war against oil. As the oil passes into the basket, it'll come in contact with the polymers and turn it into a solid. Here's so how it works. Cannot, this is diesel fuel, and I'll show you. These packs are dissolvable film. This will not hurt animals, people. That's all there is to it. It sounds easy enough. Well, it's very simple. It's the first time it's ever been tried. Uh, but the way we've got it designed, we have every confidence that it'll work. Dan's Army states the mission. The National Guard carries it out. We're tasked to do something, we do it. And it's no small task. If they fail, this natural habitat could be lost. Right there in, that front. in over a week, Sergeant First Class James Clemens and his company have fortified more than four miles of shoreline. Sand, magic powder, and plenty of faith. Think you guys are going to hold it back? God willing. Reynolds Wolf, CNN, Dauphin Island, Alabama.